The doctor told me I was supposed to be, uh, I'd, be, I'd be being in the early stages of dementia, and that's kind of scary. But my friend here, he told me, oh, don't worry about it. When you have dementia, you won't even, you won't even think you have it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm not going to worry about it. You know, if it comes, it comes. You know, but, you know, but like I said, I'm really, really lucky to have a family who supports me. Like uh, when one when family members are here to support me and um, my little nieces and nephews, they all know I have it. Yeah, and um, I just, I'm just lucky. Um, you know, like I said, I had all these things planned to say, and, and it happens. You get up here, and boom, it's gone. So, uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, life's been good to me. I know. Life, yeah, my positive changes to us, like, I'm back with my family, <clears throat> off drugs, that's a good change. Um, um, I got rid of my homophobic. <laughs> that's uh, another good thing. Um, the only problem is I can't get a girlfriend. <laughs> because every time I tell them, like I, I, I tell like I tell everybody I hate HIV. And if I meet a girl, or whatever, I, mean, I, I tell them the truth. And usually, well, you know, I never just don't see them again. But that's okay. Well, in these days, I will meet somebody. And I'm, uh, I can't believe it. I'm going to be half a century old. Next month, <laughs> it's uh, like it sounds old, eh? Half a century old or fifty years old? It sounds older. Half a century or uh, half, a <laughs> half a century. <clears throat> so I don't feel half a century. I feel I still feel like I'm twenty-eight, twenty-nine, you know, thirty. Uh, I, I walk I me. Mean, I, I walk miles and miles me a day. Uh, I just like to walk. Uh, I'm glad this winter's here. Winter's back to snow. Can't wait to get back to Abington, see what it looks like. Because I'll be walking a lot, a lot, and um, probably take a shovel out and start shoveling the snow. I love shoveling the snow. Um, <laughs> shoveling the snow. So, um, I would really like a question. <laughs> like, <laughs> anybody got questions, please? You do have more to say, right? Huh? Okay, what's the question? You have more to say. Like I said, I don't worry about things no more. Eh? I just like, I just like, I just go with the flow. You know, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And I know my time might come soon. Like, um, like I didn't think I was gonna make 50 years old. You know, when I was 95, when I found out I was HIV positive, I thought I was gonna be dead in two years. And then I used to go to the support groups when I first found out. And then I met this girl there. She's five years. I go, wow. Five years, you can live that long, five years. And, and, then, uh, and then, then I got to five years, and then got to 10 years, and then I was 14. And next, next month will be f actually 15 years. And then, you know, another amazing thing, too, is like, I remember when I was in Vancouver and they, they announced the Olympic 
the Olympics and they're doing they go on they want the Olympics and I said, Oh man, I'm never gonna see the Olympics. But guess what? I'm gonna be working there. <laughs> I got a job to work there on the Olympics, so that is that is gonna be amazing going there because I never thought it'd be that be part of history now. Um, um yeah. I really thought I was gonna be this long. I, and I uh, I think that's because of maybe I don't really even believe in stress. I don't really stress myself out about things. And like I said, I don't worry about things. And I don't, I don't let things bother me. And I think everybody should do that. Don't worry about things. Don't worry about your paycheck if you don't get one. Eventually something's gonna happen. And uh, things work out. And things always worked out for me. You know, I always think, I always think the worst. You know, and then, then, then when I think that way, uh, then I get, like I stress, but it usually turns out good. Everything usually turns out good. You know, and just think that way and everything will work out good. And, um, let me think. I've done a, I've done a few presentations. I've done, I remember my very first one, I was, Vancouver, and I had to go talk in front of grade one and tours. <laughs> I couldn't believe how scared I was. <laughs> the whole room of little kitties, <laughs> and I'm trying to talk to them, and it's like, that was, uh, that was kind of uh, weird. And then I remember I asked the kids, I said, what do you, what do you plan to be being? Uh, when you get older, and this one kid, I'm gonna be a doctor, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna discover the cure for AIDS. You know? and I was just a little guy, you know, like six years old, seven years old. I said that. Okay? I, was, I wonder how he's doing now. That was like 15 years ago, so he's probably starting school right now. He's probably starting university. And he's trying to maybe study, be a doctor about HIV, and be a specialist, and become the cure guy. You know, I don't think about the, the um, one thing about when they find a cure for HIV, all you guys will be unemployed. Who's ever working? Who's <laughs> 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 ever working for, for HIV? <clears throat> and, um, so. Any more questions? Come on, there must be a question. Ray, you have a question? Uh, yeah. Life-wise or pill-wise or um, access to services, programs that are being administered. Oh, uh, service. Moves of people with HIV. You know, what what change? What significant change have you seen over the course of the fourteen years? I've seen a big difference in the way they, the way people are look at HIV now, like. People don't really care about it no more, it seems like. They don't talk about it no more. Um, they, uh, think there's a, they, they, think, <coughs> they think it's not there no more. And we're still getting big, big infections, especially in the Aboriginal com community. So what is your view on that? About, about those views, do you think that's? I think it sucks. But like, um, we just gotta s start teaching people Start going around and educating people, more people, I guess, doing that. And, um, but nobody wants to go to these things and listen to them no more, eh? Because, like, uh, that's what I noticed. Like, oh, another HIV uh, thing, or 101, or, you know, like, everybody's educated. Well, we all are educated about it, eh? 